Alliance for Youth is hosting the second annual Youth Craft Show to encourage these young individuals to embrace their creativity. It gives them a reward for, for pro-social interaction. They get a lot of feedback and validation from their community, but they also get to connect and get validation from their peers, which is huge. The craft show is a way for the youth to interact with each other and other kids their age, as well as other people in the community. Alliance for Youth believes this is a good exposure for the kids who use their programs and services. So we're hoping to get a lot of traffic in here um, so these kids feel supported and validated and encouraged and um, have something positive in their life. Um, we all know that kids, they're all struggling. Um, you know, we say we service homeless and at-risk youth here, but I personally think all children, all children are at risk in some way, shape or form. One of the goals for the Youth Craft Show is that all the kids who participate as vendors and sell their products walk out of the event with more confidence and good experience. Morrison says this helps them to learn and grow. Our community is incredibly supportive and engaged um, with the Alliance for Youth and with our youth. And I think it gives the community members an idea to interact with kids that um, they might not on a normal random basis to be kind of able to have these conversations with these kids and connect and learn a little bit more about them. The craft show will take place in the Marshall Family Hall inside Alliance for Youth on Saturday, November 4th from 10 a.m. until 3 p.m. In Great Falls, I'm McKenna Holman, MTN News.